Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program video, and today's video we are going to be building the long lost Delta rocket. Oh my gosh, guys, great, great title, right? Um, I don't know if that's even going to be my title, I haven't even figured it out yet. But uh, Delta 3 is today's rocket, yes, the Delta 3. Some of you may not have heard of the Delta 3. You've, you've pr probably heard of the Delta 2, yeah, and you've most definitely probably heard of the Delta 4 Heavy if you like into rockets and stuff, you know, it's the big orange one grip uh, that ULA has. And the Delta II was like the, the teal one, you know, the bluish tealy one that was, you know, really cool and it launched some pretty cool payloads and it was kind of famous because it had like nine SRBs you could put on it. It's kind of insane, a lot of SRBs. Um, but the Delta III, the Delta III is kind of like the in-between rocket. It's like, <laughs> it didn't have a great launch record. It uh, launched three times and uh, two of them blew up um, and then one of them kind of failed to get in the right orbit. So, uh, you know, it was basically a useless rocket um, uh, in, in its entire entire launch history. But the way this thing works, so this thing this is like a half Delta II and a half Delta IV. So, um, and it's, an, it's a half Delta II because it uses a Delta II core stage with an RS-27 engine on the bottom. Uh, it has slightly upgraded SRBs. Also also comes in the nine uh, booster configuration just like the Delta 2 but it uses a Delta 4 upper stage or the Delta cryogenic second stage which is actually also similar to, very similar to what the SLS uses as its upper stage um, so that's basically it's like it like uses the upper stage of the Delta 4 is actually intended to half test the upper stage of the Delta 4 um, the uh, you know uh, the Delta 3 that was like half of its purpose to be honest um, so yeah, the Delta Cryogenic second stage is actually wider than the uh, than the Delta II, so it does like a weird kind of Ares one type thing where it starts out kind of skinny and then it like widens out and it looks kind of weird and it's really cool. It's everyone's everyone's second favorite sometimes teal rocket because there's some pictures of it kind of being teal and sometimes it's like this weird greenish color and uh, it's just a weird rocket and it, it blew up a few times which is, you know, explosions, yay! So uh, we've started the rocket, we've actually built the, uh, the first and second, well the, the bearing and the uh, upper stage. Um, there's an optional third stage, but this thing has so much delta B we didn't, we didn't need it. Um, we are going to put a payload on here and I'm going to keep that a secret. Oh my gosh guys, viewer retention. Uh, yeah, it actually, I think it's a pretty cool and stupid payload. Um, so you guys will have to just, you'll have to just watch, look at that, OMG. Gotta build the suspense, I don't know. I think I think it's one of the few payloads that's worth building suspense. I don't know, maybe you guys will think it's stupid, but um, uh, yeah, you know, if you want it, you know, if you're enjoying the video, there's a nice subscribe button you can hit. Uh, you know, gotta do the quick plugs. Thank you everyone, subscriber growth has really kind of taken off in the last uh, week or two, so thank you everyone for all that all that awesome support and everyone who joined the Discord. We just passed uh, Straps and Blitz's Discord in terms of members, so suck on that, man. Um, and uh, yeah, we're coming close on the Beardy Penguin, so you better watch out, man. I know you have a Beardy Penguin. I think he has some problem with his hand, like he broke it or something. He had whatever. Irrelevant uh, medical problems, imagine, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know. Uh, well, you know, in all honesty, you know, hope he gets better. So, a uh, comment section, you know, you can click that like button, all that fun stuff. Uh, join members, plugs. Okay, plugs are done. Okay. So, uh, as we come to the end of the build time lapse here, we're just going to set up the weird booster staging for the. Um, Delta 3, because the way it works is it lights six SRBs right away, and then when the six SRBs attach, then it uh, lights the last three, and it's it's all weird and stuff, but that's going to bring us to the end of today's build time lapse, and we can get ready to launch the Delta 3 rocket, which is hanging out on the pad, uh, like so. So it, it's getting ready. This thing has a pretty high part count, um, because the flags had a lot of part, which is what I used to make the core stage, and I have the payload. It's like 300 parts. It's kind of crazy. So, throttling up the core engine, and... There go the six SRBs, big lag spike as we uh, as we lift off. But here we go, going to get the time lapse going right now. And here comes uh, the gravity turn, which is going to begin climbing up as we cross around the one kilometer mark. And it's a pretty ascent, a sta standard ascent profile. Um, the core stage just get us like get us like 90% of the way to orbit, but we are going to actually be going interplanetary this video. Oh my gosh, guys! Um, so you have to, you know, that's that's why we have, uh, you know, the big second stage. You know, it's it's really overpowered for the payload we have, which is fairly light. You'll see, it's a lot of payload. I'm giving way too much. Uh, but I don't know. So we're getting ready to close here for the uh, first six SRBs to detach, and uh, there they go. Cut out and detach, and there they go, falling black, black back. Hopefully not crashing into a rock, which they didn't as they separated. And now the last three SRBs are going to be ignited. The real uh, ones, those uh, second. The second set of SRBs actually have a little bit bigger nozzles uh, because they're lit higher up. They're like kind of vacuum-ish optimized nozzles. They're like higher up out of the I can't speak tonight, can I? It's 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> uh, higher up optimized uh, nozzles, but that's not what you think in KSP. So we just use, we just use the same kickback. So 
Uh, yeah, gonna continuing to burn here. We're gonna get really fast. Uh, those SRBs do give us with a nice little bit of acceleration uh, as we get ready to uh, stage them away in the next few seconds. So any day now. And booster cutoff and booster separation. So we're gonna continue burning. Uh, last few hundred meters a second of our core stage and get ready to pop the fairing here in any second now and the amazing payload will be revealed oh my gosh guys what could it possibly be what will you get your minds are going to be so blown you're probably not i don't know some of you guys might not even get what this is you're going to probably be like what the crap is all those bananas those are bananas by the way yes bananas there's like 10 mr banana mans 10 yes there are 10 mr banana mans as we stage away the core stage and we can light up the uh, the Delta Cryogenic second stage. Yeah, Banana Mans. We have 10 Banana Mans in our upper stage here. So what's the deal here? What's going on? So if you don't know, Mr. Banana Man is kind of like this running series joke, stupid thing I have going on my channel. I know some a lot of new people here recently because of all the subscribers. Thanks, guys. Um, uh, yeah, so Mr. Banana Man, it's like the series I did a while ago where I have this little banana guy. Um, where I'm trying to send him this tiny little just random piece of garbage banana I just threw together. He has a little face and stuff. You can see them right there. There's ten of them. Um, there's just one of them originally, and we we we'd reset. We, the, the idea was we would send him to to different locations creatively. So in the first episode, uh, we we built an S we built a rocket in orbit using SSTOs, and he flew out to Elu or whatever. And then in the second episode, we picked him up with a delivery van in Elu, and in that episode, he just like disappeared. There was a weird glitch that happened, and he just disappeared. Um, actually in game so these 10 are like the banana babies even though they're the exact same size as him uh, I just copied just copied and pasted them into there so these guys are actually going to be going to a low Ike orbit um, because I didn't really want to cl clutter up my low carbon orbit so we're just gonna go ahead and just take over low Ike orbit with these just bananas flying around the thing um, and they're gonna be they're like I don't know. They're satellites. They're looking for the main Mr. Ban I don't know. I just I just wanted to put a bunch of I wanted to make, I wanted to make a constellation of bananas because how many people can say that? You know I don't know. Like Matt Lown, he he's all these cool rovers and surface bases, but does he have a constellation of bananas floating around in one of his celestial bodies? And I'm just totally not turning off the comm network right there because I forgot to have communications and stuff. But that's something. Yeah, Matt Lown. I mean, you can see Strass and Blitz. He's done all these cool, you know, like. SRB things, weird, insane things, but does he have a banana constellation? You know, important, important things. It's a bucket list item, guys. You know, are you? I mean, are you even a real KSP player if you don't have a constellation of bananas at least somewhere in your, <laughs> in your, in your, in your system? Uh, I hope I don't. I hope I don't. I don't hope a lot of people don't make a constellation of bananas because of this. Don't. I don't. I, 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 I'm such a. I'm such an influencer, guys. I influence you guys. I, if you. <laughs> If you're influenced by me, I don't know. Probably, probably, probably might want to rethink some things. Also, some things I might also want to rethink as we get into a low Ike orbit. And after getting low Ike orbit, we're going to start to uh, detach them. And I'm going to attach them all in a radial out direction. Or actually, I'm going to detach the first six. I'm pointing radial out, and then the last four, I'm pointing radial in. The way that the ways that I'm doing that is um, uh, just so they can actually they'll, they gradually space out over time. It takes like a long time, like a few years, but eventually they will. They will space themselves out into different orbits and stuff because they're, we're getting a little bit of a kick uh, in the uh, uh, radial in and radial out direction. And just for the memes, we're going to get into a 169 by 142 kilometer orbit. Just leave it for the memes. And here we go. Going to start the detachment of the bananas. So while we are doing that, we can continue with another tradition on this channel, uh, which actually just started in my last video. So is it really even tradition? But it's the water reviews. Matt Lown does whiskey reviews. I do water reviews now. And in the last, oh gee, it's so dumb, but uh, in, in the last video, I did uh, the Dasani water, but now we're going to be doing a major upgrade to Fiji water. Oh my gosh, guys, Fiji water, the pristine, the highest level, highest quality of bottled water. Um, it actually is, I believe, taken from a place in Fiji. Like, that's not actually, like, false advertising. I have had Fiji water a grand total of one time in my life. I got it at an airport because that's the only water they had. I know, I go to the best airports, don't I? I think it was like Salt Lake City or something, to be honest. Um, it was, it actually, I, I wasn't really a huge fan. I know, a lot of people like Fiji water. Um, we have to plug up satellites now. We're going to be uh, crashing the stage into Duna because why not? We have Delta V to do it, so. Um, fun fact about Fiji water. In 2006, uh, I don't even have a Wikipedia pulled up. I'm memorizing this, so you know, I have so much research into my Fiji water. Um, they ran an ad where they said that uh, Fiji water 
I don't even remember. It's like glad we glad it isn't bottled in Cincinnati. It was like Cleveland. Like at, like it was like glad it's not bottled in Cleveland. That was their ad, you know, to promote Fiji water. And then the the Cleveland Water Department took that as a, uh, an insult. And then they tested the Fiji water, and then it can, it contained like a lot more arsenic than than the Cleveland City water. So suck on that Fiji water. That's the end of the video. That was a kind of a cool shot of one of the bananas floating around. So uh, members on screen, thank you all for being members. I'm gonna stop talking. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please make sure to comment through this video once again. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.